Now the next bit that we've got coming in here is the user input flow. Now this is again unique to us um, because we can get an awful lot more details than what any other chatbot can. Now there's quite a few different moving parts in this. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new sequence. All right, so I'm just gonna put this new sequence in here. Now the problem that we're gonna have is new sequence can't be connected straight away to a chatbot. So we're gonna need some way of connecting this new sequence. Now normally we'd have the flow going and we'd say have a button somewhere, all right? So that's the normal thing what would happen. So let's just add a button in here. Don't worry, we're gonna go into buttons Shortly, I'm going to put in here and um, continue. All right, now, normally, obviously, this button would do something else. But at the moment, we're just going to make it nice and simple just to actually show you. Um, and then you can use whatever you want for the button. Right, so this um, new post back is going to be continue. So continue um, is what we're going to call it. And we're not going to select the sequences yet, but we are going to add this sequence onto it. Right, so let's just move the sequence all over a little bit. Now, this might look like a long way around it, but honestly, it really isn't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this sequence onto here, right, and then this will go on to something such as another text message. So I'll put, this is a follow on, right, um, oops, this is a follow on. What we'd actually put, we would put, um let's just quickly grab your email all right now that was if we're going to put something on like this but we're not going to do that what we're going to do we're going to delete this and we're going to put on here user input flow now this won't actually save as yet right which is the whole reason why i'm not adding it yet right so we just need to put on this text flow for now i'm um, just going to put this is going to be deleted. Right, so we're just drawing that text flow up. The only reason I've added this text flow is we'll put this new sequence in. Now, we didn't really need to put that in first, but we'll set it up while we're here, just so that it's nice and simple. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the sequence name. So we're going to put um, sequence one. And select the time zone. This doesn't matter at all because we're going to select it so that works 24 hours a day. This time zone doesn't matter. Our messenger tag, we can do account update, right? Now, these are really important. We're going to get onto these later, right? So, we're going to okay that one. Now, this first sequence message is going to be promotional. I'm going to select it five minutes, all right? And it's going to be a post back. It's going to say, um, got email, right? So for now, I'm going to just delete these other ones, right? And delete that. Right, so the only thing that we have right now, we've just added a sequence. We've added a sequence set for five minutes and we've titled it, get email, all right? Now I'm going to try and save this. Probably won't let us because we've got to put post back in. So I'm just going to duplicate this or clone this. And this is going to be the message that we're going to give them after they've given us the email. So thank you. We now have your details. Details. Right. So okay, that. I'm just going to join that up to that. Now remember, this is going to be the message after we collect their email details, right? So we're going to collect more than email and we'll show you some of the things what we can actually do. So let's just save that for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to come out of here. Right. Once we come out. Let me see, let me see. We're going to go down to Messenger Bot. And we're going to go down to User Input Flow and Custom Fields. Now, this is where we can get a lot more technical, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new flow. And we're going to call this um, Email Collection. Right, I'm going to select a page, which is going to be our training page, which is the one I'm working on. So we're going to OK that. Now then, what we can now do is we can collect Fair, like various different things. So we can do multiple choice questions, which we can collect the information in. We can collect the email, telephone number, we can collect a text message, um, we can collect the numbers, collect the URL, file, image, video, date, time, date and time. So we can set appointments. We can do absolutely all sorts of this. But we're going to just keep it nice and simple for now. I'm just going to put in a quick email. So, hey, let's grab your email. So 
we can send you your bonuses, right? Now, we're not necessarily going to send the bonuses via the email, but if we put this in here, then what's going to happen is they are going to give us their correct email. But to double check, what we can actually do is we can attach an email quick reply. And what that means, it means that Facebook is going to go out there and it's going to self-populate the email reply. So it's going to give us the email, what they register their Facebook page with. So we're going to save to a custom field and the custom field is going to be email. We're going to save to a system field, which is also going to be email. Now we can also assign labels if we weren't in the UK. We can assign it to a messenger sequence so we can have a whole new messenger sequence come off. Or we can send it to an email or phone sequence, right? So we can have that whole thing running off and doing all sorts of different things in the background. So as soon as we get email address, we can send them off an email um, via our autoresponder or via chat ammo. And once we've done all that, it's all set. So I'm just going to click back onto here. We can also make a skip button, but I wouldn't put a skip button in. Right, so we're going to save that one. So we're now going to get their email address. So it's going to self-populate underneath. And let's get a phone number as well, because we might want to do SMS. Hey, how would you like even more stuff for free? Simply give us your best SMS number and we will forward on something great. All right, so this one again, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna have this phone number. Now, Facebook don't often have the phone number, so I wouldn't auto-populate the phone number. Let's just pick phone, and let's pick phone. And also, as you can see, you can pick birthdays and all that sort of thing. We can assign them to a message sequence again. We can find an SMS sequence if we wanted to, which means we'll contact them straight away. But let's just, now for now, all we're gonna do is just have those two choices, right? Now we could add a reply here. This is where they're gonna to go to after they've given us their details. However, we're gonna do got email, all right? Is it got email? I think it was. Right, so get email. I'm just gonna double check that that's actually right because I could be wrong. Right, and after we've done that, we're gonna submit it. And you're gonna see success, campaign has been submitted. And we're gonna go back into our Visual Flow Builder. All right. So in the Visual Flow Builder, and our re reply was get email. All right, so what's gonna happen is, we're gonna delete this one here, like we said, and we're gonna put in a user input flow right there. And the user input flow is what we've just created. So email collection. So we'll clear that. Now what's going to happen is we're going to say new post back. All right, so this button and we'll put continue. New post back. We're going to ask them for the email. Once they've replied to the email, they're going to come out with this bit here, which is get email. And it's going to say thank you. We've now got your email details. So just save that. And let's go into our little page here. So I've got more stuff going on than anything else. I'm buying an outside bar at the moment, so um, it's kind of a little bit strange. I'm doing all sorts of things. Right, so let's delete that messages, and we're gonna just send a test. As you can see, as normal, get started. Then we'll have a little flow. It's gonna say continue, which is what we want to do. Now it's gonna populate my email address, this one right here. Now, if that one was my correct email address, I'll just click on it, however it's not. So let's just go down here because I'll use a different one for my Facebook. Mac underscore tattoo at hotmail.co.uk if you guys need us. That's probably one of the best emails to use for it. And then it's going to ask us for the phone number as well. So 07889022356. Right. Let's submit that. And it's going to tell us thank you. We now have all of your details. Well, we now have all your day details. I have no idea. But that's how we're gonna collect their details. Now, those details, we can use them for all sorts of different things. We can send them to Google Sheets. We can now put them to our autoresponder. We can do absolutely all sorts with it. We've now built up, we're starting to build up three different lists. And remember, email has 16% open rates. Um, SMS has around about 90% open rates. And Messenger, what you're using altogether, has an 80% open rate. So altogether, we are looking pretty damn good. All right.